Welcome to this video. I'm going to be showing you how you can create a seller account on Etsy. Okay, so I'm just on the Etsy homepage and the first thing that you want to do is sign into your account. So what I'm going to do is click on sign in and you can put an email address and your password if you have an account already. If you don't have an account, you can continue with Google, Facebook or Apple. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue with Google because that's the easiest for me. All right, so now I'm in my Etsy account. It says, welcome Steven. So that's my account now. You need to go here where it says your account at the top right hand corner. Click on that drop down, And here you can see it says sell on Etsy. That's the option we want to select. So click on sell on Etsy. Now you need to go through the process of creating your seller account. So it says here, yeah, millions of shoppers can't wait to see what you have in store. Click on get started. And now you just need to read that and then click on let's do this. And I'll walk you through the steps. So it says, what brings you to Etsy? For this, I'm going to select, I'm just starting to sell for the first time ever, but you have these other options available too. Or you can completely skip the question. I'm going to now click on next. And it says, is there anything we'd like to help you with? And I'll select um, skip this question because that'll be easier for now. And then I'm going to click here where it says start your shop. Very straightforward and simple. Okay, so now you can go ahead and choose your shop language. So for this, I want English as my language. For my country, I'm going to select my country and my currency. But you'll just select either USD. You can see all the options available to you for your currency. For this, I'm going to sell in, actually, I'm going to sell in uh, USD because that's actually easier. So I'm going to select that. So, and then it says they might charge currency conversion fees, um, which is totally fine. And then for this, I'll select South Africa and then click on save and continue. Now I'm going to name my shop. So I'll just call this digital unraveled. And that is actually available. So that's available. So you just want to select something that's available between 40 and 20 characters, no special characters, and then click on save and continue. So now what you need to do is create a listing. Okay, so all you have to do is go through this process. For this, I'll just select a mock up of a listing. So I'm going to click here where it says add a photo. Then I'm just going to go to my downloads and I'm going to select. Um, okay, then I'm just going to select this image right here as an example. Click on open. Uh, listings look best with photos at least 2000 pixels wide. Okay, but it will still continue and let me do it. Uh, then you can add a, a video if you want to. And then you're going to put your listing details. So I'm just going to write here test listing. And then I'm going to write who made this. Um, I'm going to write I did. What is it? It is a finished product. When did you make it? And I'll put 2020 to 2024. So I'm going to select digital. So what you can do is select all these options. So I'm going to select digital prints. And then I'm going to choose a primary color. I'm going to write black. And basically you have to go through this process, which I'll do right now. Okay. So now you need to select your renewal options. I'm going to select manual and the top is a digital and I'm just going to write here. This is a test product for my shop. Okay. And then I'm going to scroll down and you need to select this stuff here as optional. So for the price, I'm just going to put three USD quantity. I'm going to put um, five. And this is optional. Okay, so once you've selected your digital files, click here where it says save and continue. And then you should be able to go to the next step. It says great job on your first listing. Here it is right here. And then it says add more listings. Uh, I'll select do this later. Okay, so to protect our marketplace. Okay, so now you need to select where your bank is located. Um, and what I'll do is I'll set this up right now. Okay, so once you've set up how you'll get paid, now you need to set up your billing. Okay, so you need to add your card number, expiration date, and so on, and your billing address. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll do this now. And once you've set up your billing, it's going to give you the option to do two-factor authentication. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select SMS and then click on continue. Right now, you need to select send code, and they're going to send you a verification code. So click on send code. 
So as you can see, there's quite a few steps in order to actually get your account. But I'm looking on my phone right now and I see that I got a security code. So I'm going to type that in right now. And just like that, my Etsy seller account is now set up. This will give you your stats, like your total views, your visits, your orders and your revenue. So all you have to do to make sure that you get to this step is to complete all those steps, which I just showed you how to do. Complete those all. And then you can see this is your seller dashboard. And you can actually go to your shop right here. You can see um, here's my shop, Digital Unraveled. I can click onto my shop. And here is my actual listing right now. So that's it. If this video helps you out, drop a like onto this video and I'll see you in the next one.